um, when we're doing division, again, the rule of division, or one of the rules of division with uh, my monomials, was kind of very similar to multiplication. If I have the nth root of x over the nth root of y, I can just rewrite that as the nth root of x over y. So that's very helpful a lot of times when it's broken up. Obviously, you guys can see that it's in this process. So sometimes it's helpful to break it apart. However, if you follow what I told you, always do simplifying first. Simplify, simplify, simplify. Okay? And if you guys look at this as simplifying, I can divide 3 into 243, correct? Yes. 3 into 243 is going to be um, 81. I cannot divide k to the third divided by k to the seventh. However, I can simplify that. And let's just kind of go back to it. If you guys remember, k cubed divided by k to the seventh, that equals k to the three minus seven, which equals k to the negative four, right? And if you guys remember, k to the negative four, Holly, is equal to 1 over k to the fourth. So my simplified answer right now is the fourth root of 243 divided by 3 is 81. And then this is k to the fourth power um, over there. So I simplified it. I actually don't have to rationalize the denominator. If you guys remember, we multiplied by ones with rationalizing the denominator. But in this case, to further simplify this, I can just break this up into the fourth root of 81 over the fourth root of k to the fourth. Now I want to see, is 81 a, um, is a uh, 81 a core to, can I take the fourth root of 81, which is just 3. Oh, actually, let's rewrite it. Yes, I can. The fourth root is 3 to the fourth over the fourth root of k to the fourth. So therefore, by applying the identity element, the fourth root of 3 to the fourth is 3, and the fourth root of k to the fourth is k. And that would be your final answer. Yes? I'm kind of confused what you did with the variables still. Like I 